Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today is going to be another nursing skills video. This came as a request from a viewer. And today I'm going to cover the nine main pulse points on the body. So this is something you can do on your own. You can practice on your own if you're in nursing school, EMT school, or if you're just trying to learn the pulse points of the body. Knowing how to check your own pulse is really handy for athletes and anyone who is trying to get their heart rate up while they're exercising. So by the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of where all the pulse points are. I'm going to be using stickers over the pulse points just to make it easier for you to locate pulses on yourself. So go ahead and follow along and see if you can detect all of your pulse points. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I talk about everything related to being a nurse and a nurse practitioner, as well as some other health topics. So if you'd like to be a part of my YouTube family, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Okay, so the first pulse point we're going to talk about is the temporal pulse. The temporal pulse can be felt in two spots, primarily in front of the tragus right here, just anterior and slightly superior to the tragus. You're going to use two fingers to palpate the pulses. And that's the point right there, just in front of and slightly above the tragus of the ear. And this is it on this side. Now, sometimes you will see people palpating the temporal pulse up here, and this is the anterior branch of the temporal artery. And so you can feel it in this location as well. It's not quite as strong. And that is the temporal pulse point. Okay, so the next pulse point we're going to cover is the carotid pulse. The carotid artery can be felt in the neck, right where I have the stickers located. There is the trachea in the middle and there is a neck muscle that runs along here. And right in the middle of that, where the sticker is located here, is where you're going to find the carotid pulse. So you're going to use two fingers. The carotid pulse is a very strong pulse. It's the pulse that's checked during code blues to see if a patient has a heartbeat. And so it's a very reliable pulse to palpate. Make sure you only check for the carotid pulse on one side at a time. This is because if you check on both sides at the same time, this can occlude blood flow to the brain. Also, you don't need to press hard on this artery. It's a very strong pulse and you don't wanna stimulate the vagus nerve, which could slow down the heart rate. Okay, so next is the apical pulse. It is fifth intercostal space mid clavicular line or the point of maximal impulse. To assess the apical pulse, it is best to use your stethoscope. However, you can feel it as well if you lay flat and just apply your hand. As I mentioned in my last video, women usually have breast tissue covering the apical pulse location, which is also over the mitral valve. And so on women, you're going to lift up the breast tissue and listen right beneath. And on your patients, make sure you apply your stethoscope right to the skin. So the apical pulse is a very reliable pulse. It is best for assessing a pulse most accurately and for detecting an irregular heart rate. Okay, so the next pulse is the brachial artery pulse. This is where I can palpate the brachial pulse on my arms. You may have to move up slightly or slightly down to find it on your arms. So it's at the antecubital fossa, just medial, and you can apply two fingers and feel the pulse. The brachial pulse is the most reliable pulse to check during a pediatric code blue. Okay, so the next pulse we're going to talk about is the radial pulse. It is found on the thumb side of the wrists, so that's where I could palpate the radial pulse on myself. The radial pulse is located on the thumb side of the anterior wrist. So the radial pulse is a very quick and easy pulse to assess. If you're just trying to count a patient's heart rate, the radial pulse is the most frequently used pulse point to assess the heart rate. So to check the radial pulse, you're going to take two fingers and hold it right over that pulse point. If this is your first time checking the patient's pulse, you're going to want to palpate for 30 seconds and multiply it by two. If the heart rate feels irregular, count it for one full minute. And if it feels irregular, check an apical pulse. You're also assessing the force of the pulse. Two plus is normal, three plus is bounding, one is thready or weak, and zero is absent. So you want to feel a normal two plus pulse. A normal heart rate on an adult is between 60 and 100 beats per minute at rest. Okay, so the next pulse point is the femoral pulse. I'm just gonna show you the location here through my shorts. So again, you'll want to assess right on the patient's skin, but for the purpose of this video, I'm doing it through my shorts. 
To assess the femoral pulse, you're going to press into the groin, slightly medial. And I can feel it quite strong on myself, but on some patients you have to press more firmly to be able to palpate the femoral pulse. So the femoral pulse is really important to assess for circulation in the legs. It's a very large and strong artery. So the popliteal pulse is found behind the knee and it is felt with deep palpation. I'll just show you the location behind my knees. So the popliteal pulse is quite deep and it's always been the most difficult pulse for me to palpate ever since I was a student. So the way to find the popliteal pulse is to reach behind the knee with both hands and there is a diamond shaped pit in the middle which is called the popliteal fossa and you're going to press into the center of that area to locate the pulse. Okay, and lastly, we have the pedal pulses. There is the dorsalis pedis pulse and the posterior tibial pulse. Okay, so the dorsalis pedis pulse can be felt just medial of this bony prominence here on the dorsal foot in between the tendons. And if you just run along, you can usually start to feel it right along this area. So these pulses are important to check in anyone with peripheral vascular disease or if there's concern about circulation in the lower extremities. Okay, and then the posterior tibial pulse can be found just posterior to the medial malleolus, and you will feel the pulse right there. And you want the foot to be in a nice relaxed position to be able to feel this pulse. All right, you guys, so those are the nine major pulse points in the body. There are other pulse points, but these are the ones you'll most often be quizzed or tested on in nursing school or EMT school. All right, you guys, so if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, if you have a friend or a nursing student who you think might benefit from this video, please go ahead and share it with them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.